Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. And in a previous video, I was talking about the hatch command where I mentioned how to create the hatch command uh, or how to create a pattern, how to scale it, how to use different hatch patterns. And also, I also showed how to use a hatch to fill in one area or to use the hatch to fill in multiple areas. And in this video, I'll show you uh, different properties about the hatch and what we can do pretty much with it okay so I'm going to select this one here in the corner and what I want to mention here that I showed the scale before where you can control the scale for this hatch so you can change it here and type for example a different value and it will update it uh, and in the case of this hatch right here that repeats across the three areas it will actually update it everywhere so let's just try that so we see it and here you go uh, Beside the scale, you can actually apply a different property to hatches. You can actually rotate them. And to do that, if you look here above the scale, there's something called angle. Then from here, you can click on the zero value and we can type, for example, 90. And this will rotate the hatch by 90 degrees. Okay, we can also type 45. This will make it appear like it's going vertically. And also you can do, you can actually click with the cursor here and you can drag this and you can rotate the hatch pretty much to any angle you desire if you want to do it freestyle pretty much okay so this is one uh, another property of the hatch where you can rotate it and the same for this one i can select it and then do the angle and rotate it uh, we can also do this from the beginning when we're doing the hatch so i'm going to show you what i mean i'm going to start the hatch i'm going to choose something different let's choose for example this is a brick hatch here or brick pattern all right and then from here i'm going to tell it from the beginning i want the angle to be 45 and i want the scale to be 18 might be too big but we will see together right now and then i'm going to click in a certain area and here and we only see this line meaning it's meaning that the hatch is not going to be visible it's not fitting in here it's too big most likely so i will switch the value to 12 let's see the result Okay, it's still not visible, so I will switch down to a much smaller value to 1. And here we go, this is now visible. So right away from the beginning, when I'm creating the hatch, I set up the proper scale, and I set it up at a certain angle. So you can do that from the beginning. Then I'm going to close the hatch. And then if you want to modify it later on, you can select the hatch again. And then this ribbon will pop up here on the top that controls the, the, the hatch. And then here we can modify the angle. We can say 90. We can tell the scale to be number two, for example. And even you can change the pattern as well. So now I'm going to tell this hatch element right here to become uh, this a brick, or actually let's choose this one right here. Now this one here, when I chose it, it's not that visible. When you zoom in, it's very, very small. So I'll have to adjust the scale. I'll do 12. It's still too small. I will do 24. And here we go. Now this is visible. Okay. So the hatch or the pattern in AutoCAD, you can actually rotate it, you can scale it, and you op obviously have the option to choose different ones. So depending on what you want, you can scroll here through the list and see what works for you.